Ring worlds are one of science fiction's most imaginative megastructures. Essentially, it is a giant ring that serves as a biosphere for an entire civilization or an ecosystem at the very least, with the inside surface serving as a habitable world. Or imagine a ring so enormous that its inner surface, its area could be equal to literally millions of Earths. The surface is designed to mimic a planetary environment, complete with cities, forests, oceans and habitable spaces. The structure would either orbit around a star or if it is big enough, it would encircle the entire star. Using centrifugal force, its rotation would thus be used to generate artificial gravity, while massive panels or shadow squares can be used to regulate light to create a day and night cycle. Obviously, constructing such a mega structure would require materials of super strength far beyond anything currently existing and gathering resources for its construction would involve dismantling entire planets or scouring the entire asteroid belt. But can such a thing exist in reality? Maybe. Maybe a higher tier alien civilization could make one of these. I don't know, but real life humanity can barely keep a space station afloat, let alone create a ring world. But in science fiction, there are quite a few of them out there. And so let's take a look at the biggest 10 of these ring worlds. In the Star Wars universe, most specifically in the Book of Boba Fett, the Glavis ring world is seen as a ring-shaped space station that measures only a few hundred kilometers across. It encircles a very small star, and this world is located in the core worlds, and it was designed to be a fully functional space habitat. Its inner surface is lit by constant sunlight, so in order to create days and nights, special eclipses or shadow panels would slide over to create an artificial night. Glavis has built-in areas open to space and also sections with an atmosphere and it provides artificial gravity so that its inhabitants can walk on its surface, much like on a planet. Its size and design makes it compact, makes it a busy hub for trade, travel and even military operations in the Star Wars galaxy. We also have one in the rival Star Trek universe and this one is called Corazonia, which is another ring-shaped structure, a Dyson ring to be precise, and it too is only a few hundred kilometers across in diameter. This ring world was built by ancient aliens that have evolved to become fifth dimensional beings, and it is currently used by humans as a space colony. Like other ring habitats, Corazonia offers a continuous curved surface that supports cities and natural landscapes and thus gives its inhabitants a familiar ground to live on even while orbiting in deep space. The internal environment of Corazonia was controlled by something called a Vexilin, a sentient supercomputer, which kind of makes sense as to have an AI controlling such a vast and complex system that needs proper function in tandem to support life in outer space. Now growing in scale, we have one from the Gaia Trilogy books by John Varley. This here is the living satellite superstructure that orbits Saturn and measures around 1,300 kilometers across. This ring world was officially called a Stanford Taurus, which is more like a rotating space station and a living one at that, which entangled a spaceship with its cables with the characters on board and drags them down to the habitable surface. There the human space travelers meet centaur-like creatures who are sentient inhabitants of the world and even giant kilometer long living gas bags. The humans learn from the titanites, which are living creatures there, that the Taurus itself is alive and that a controlling intelligence called Gaia lives in the hub of the Taurus, which is located at the center in the middle of the massive ring and is 600 kilometers above them. This makes Gaia the weirdest ring world in this list. So if you remember or if you have watched the movie called Moonfall, you'd see massive ring worlds which were depicted as enormous engineering marvels with diameters ranging in the thousands of kilometers. These massive ring worlds were creations of a highly advanced civilization of ancient humanity before they were utterly exterminated by their AI creations in a plot twist that is now as common as wet water in sci-fi. They were only briefly touched upon in the movie in a flashback scene where the helpful AI on the moon showed present-day humans of their true origins and the dangers of the evil AI swarm inside of the moon.
Now going up in scale, we have the most famous ring wall in fiction by far. And this was seen in the Halo games. The very first of these and the namesake of the series of games is of course Installation 04, Halo, which is one of seven gigantic ring-shaped megastructures known collectively as the Halo Array. Measuring about 10,000 kilometers in diameter, this ring wall was constructed by the ancient Forerunner species. And although it has a very beautifully detailed inner surface with artificial gravity created by rotation, Installation 04 is also a very deadly super weapon, and it was designed to eradicate sentient life in order to exterminate an even deadlier one, a parasite called the Flood. Originally there were more but most of them were destroyed before their activation thousands of years ago in the past. And that brings us to one of the original Halos which was far larger in scale than Installation 04. This one is called Gyrus 09 or the Omega Halo, which is an even larger Halo installation with a diameter of approximately 30,000 kilometers, three times that of the previous one. Like Installation 04, it is part of the same deadly array built by the Forerunners. Its larger size provides a vast inner surface area and a more expansive habitat while still functioning as a weapon of mass destruction if ever activated. Its scale and design shows the immense technological prowess of the Forerunner species in the distant past, where they would easily manipulate planetary megastructures on a regular basis. But these halos were but specks of dust in comparison to the ring world seen in Ian M. Bang's culture series, one of which was called Masag, which is an orbital ring world of staggering proportions, about 3,183,000 kilometers in diameter, more than 106 times that of the Omega Halo. This megastructure is built as part of a utopian engineering marvel of the culture. Masak offers enormous living space with diverse environments where artificial gravity is generated by the slow and perpetual rotation of the ring. It is designed for comfort and high quality of life, which tells us of the culture's technological mastery in that time period. And it is an ideal of abundance, almost limitless habitation and resource use. Also, from the same culture universe, another ring world called Vavach is even larger than Masag, with a diameter of more than 4.4 million kilometers. This one represents the peak of advanced engineering by the culture, offering a more immense habitat area filled with varied landscapes and sophisticated ecological designs. Its colossal scale is a testament to the culture's capabilities in megastructure, engineering and construction, and provides space and freedom that far exceeds any natural planet, and both of them on their own would have surface areas that are hundreds of times greater than that of planet Earth, with Masak having a surface area that is 118 times that of Earth, while Vavaj, being wider in ring width, has over 960 times that in surface area as compared to planet Earth. But sadly, even these pale in comparison to Larry Niven's original ring world, which is perhaps the most famous of all these megastructures. It was showcased in a known space, a book or novel. This is an enormous ring with a diameter of 305 million kilometers, roughly the size of Earth's orbit around the Sun. The inner surface of this ring world is habitable with cities, oceans and natural features and everything that you can imagine. And it rotates to simulate gravity through centrifugal force, which is really slow and barely noticeable. It is so large that it encircles an entire M sequence star. Its surface area is equal to 3 million times that of Earth, which is just staggering. Constructed from a fictional material called Skrit, which is unimaginably strong, the ring world represents a breathtaking blend of engineering, of fantasy and physical possibility, and it has inspired countless other works in science fiction. Yet in the Bobbyverse series of books by Dennis E. Taylor, Heaven's River, which is also the namesake of the novel, is a ring world like construct that is even wider in diameter than Niven's creation than the ring world of Larry Niven. This one has a diameter of 321 million kilometers across, but it being a very thin ribbon like structure when compared to its overall circumference, and thus the inner surface would only equate to roughly 3,300 times that of the surface area of Earth, which is very less compared to the one from Larry Niven's works, which is around 3 million times that of Earth's. And thus, which one is the biggest? I would say it's Larry Niven's ring world. But if you take the diameter, 
it is the Heaven's River from the Bobbyverse series. And so those are the biggest ring worlds in fiction. Do hit that like button for support, subscribe and share this video. Till the next one, take care boys.